Welcome to a new little series that I like to call Why Should I Care? The main idea of this is going to be running through controversial tech news topics from the past, present or even the future and see whether you guys should be worried about them in my personal opinion. In today's first video we're going to be running through something that is a pretty debatable decision by Google and that is to add in expiry date to their Chrome OS line of systems. Let's talk about that after the intro. First off, a quick recap on what Chrome OS is. The simple, easy to use operating system by Google, which is basically a stripped down version of Linux with Chrome slapped on top as the main web browser. Chrome OS does have a lot of hate against it in the tech community, and that's mainly for its use in schools and its stripped down functionality. But what you have to keep in mind that the main demographic for these machines is going to be a simple audience that doesn't require much out of their computers. But this video isn't specifically about Chrome OS and more like one feature of it. The fact that Google has placed an expiry date on their hardware. All devices sold with Chrome OS from the factory, this includes Chrome Books, Chrome Boxes, Chrome Bases and Chrome Bits, all have set expiration dates by Google. This means that when a computer is turned on after a specific date, the user will get a lovely little error message saying that their computer is now out of date and support and needs to be upgraded. So what are we meant to do with this expired brick now? Well, lots of enthusiasts out there will immediately jump on installing Linux, and there is a way to get software like CloudReady installed with a little bit of time and patience. But not only do you have to keep in mind that these systems were mainly sold to schools and businesses, but also that Chrome OS ties the BIOS and the operating system together. Meaning that outside the realm of a normal tinkerer, it's just going to be scrapped and replaced with a different system. This creates a huge amount of e-waste for fully functioning hardware. To give some examples from the list of expired devices, the Asus Chromebit, a promising competitor to the Intel Compute Stick, now resides on the depths of eBay for just £30, where people buy them up without realising that they're fully useless these days and just end up having a paperweight a quad-core paperweight, mind you. Another example is the LG Chromebase, a all-in-one desktop that has good enough specs to just web browse, and would be perfect for someone who doesn't need a lot of computing horsepower. But as of June of this year, this machine is now expired and won't receive updates. Even Google's own original Chromebook Pixel, a laptop with a 12.8 inch IPS multi-touch display, a third gen Core i5 processor, a laser home trackpad, and a fully backlit keyboard now resides for just £200 over its original $1,000 price tag back in 2013. And support for this machine ended just five years after its original manufacture, meaning that that's £200 of depreciation every year. But as of recent, it does sound like Google are trying to change their ways, as they recently announced that they're going to be separating the Chrome web browser from the Chrome operating system. And while it may not sound that significant, the end user will be able to update their Chrome web browser separate to the operating system. This could mean that Google can keep Chrome OS devices running a whole lot longer by only needing to update the Chrome web browser instead of the whole operating system every time they release an update. But only time will tell whether this will change how things are done, and whether this new way of Chrome OS can be backported to machines that are already out of support. So just to recap on why I think you guys should care, a lot of this old hardware will just end up as piles of e-waste, some of which may be recycled, but the large majority of it will end up in landfill. A lot of devices that could be resold and reused will never get the chance to live out their full potential lifespan. Once again, a good example of this being the Chromebook Pixel, a fully capable machine even by today's standards, but is being hindered by its software. So let me know if you guys have had an experience like this in the comments below, as it's only really coming into fruition how much of potential hardware is being scrapped because of this. Also, please let me know if you guys like this style of content, and maybe some suggestions on what you guys would like to see next. This format is going to help me work on bigger projects now that I'm back on a college schedule. I mean, as much of a schedule as I have during this year, because it's been a roller coaster and a half. But enough of all that. Thank you all very much for watching, 
leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.